Good afternoon. Uh, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. Hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. We're home. And a lot has happened since we we haven't been on social media um, here outside and of the there. extent of posting the vlog. Yeah. Um, we just got back from our staycation. Um, we're home. We have Eve. Um, but we truly didn't understand, I don't think, like the full extent of everything that was happening in our country. Um, and so we've basically... For the past two days. Yeah. Um, we're kind of at a loss of words and we are trying to get caught up and see, just kind of wrap our minds around things. Um, but it's just been, it's just really, really heavy and we're trying to like figure out what we can do next. Um, yeah, we heard there were some protests going on today in Orlando. Um, we heard mixed things about one of them. and But I just, just we just to... did not real. I almost feel dumb. Yeah. I, I do feel dumb. Yeah. For just scrolling and seeing things but not realizing how intense and um, beyond appalling and heartbreaking that um, this time is right now. So... <sighs> We're going to, I don't know, talk about some stuff and be real with you guys about stuff because this is our daily vlog. And, um, yeah, go from, go from there. So, it's quite obvious that in our introduction today, we were um, discussing the events surrounding the horrific death of George Floyd. We did make the call for Peter to go to Lake Eola to take part in the march that is happening in Orlando. We decided it was best for me to stay home expecting a baby just in case. And then um, I just took Eve outside to try and see the SpaceX launch. I don't know if I captured I'm going to have Peter look at the footage. I really think I missed it. Um, it was pretty cloudy, but I think that my timing was just a little off getting Eve out there. <laughs> Oh goodness, sorry she, um, her treat was stuck. But it's just like an interesting push and pull, you know, at this bleak time that America is putting, you know, putting our astronauts into space, um, which is really cool and historical, um, a reason for us to look up and look forward. And so like, I'm just hoping maybe the timing is a sign for better things to come. It's obviously not a short, timeline um with our country and dealing with the racism that exists i am going to um see what i can capture on the tv that i can share with you guys as far as like experiencing this while living in florida dragon is now officially making its way to the international space station today all right so we uh since unpacked sarah's editing um, after doing a little bit of research, I know there were some conflicting things here in Orlando about some peaceful protests. Um, I decided to take a little hike out over to Lake Eola because I believe there is a peaceful protest against br police brutality that has begun over here. So I decided that I would go and join and I'm going to see if how this is looking and to make sure that our voices can be heard and be united with many people for a good cause. I also wanted to say really quick that um, Sarah and I touched base on this a few weeks ago about a young man going out on a run. And this is, you know, it's all connected and I don't know, as I said before, Sarah and I don't know the exact right things to do, right things to say. But one thing I want to touch a point on, and I won't use my friend's name, but I, I hope a day doesn't come that everybody is personally connected to a situation like this. Um, I have a friend I used to work with in Chicago that I had no idea, because you don't know everybody's background, um, who was related to Sandra Bland. And when everything happened a few years ago with that, I just saw my friend looking at the newspaper and he became very emotional. I asked him if he was okay and he just, he told me his connection with Sandra Bland as a family member. And I think for me, that was a pivotal point as me as, as a young adult coming into society, realizing as a 
a white male in this world. Seeing it through my friend's eyes, somebody who I love, I spent many years working very closely with, and having a deeper understanding, because I don't truly, I can't truly understand um, how these things feel um, because of who I am. But like we said a few weeks ago, we can do our best to, to try to understand. And if there's any ever a chance that we can support these changes that need to be made in, in society, across the world we're going to so I don't always know if we're doing the perfect thing or the right thing but we are going to keep doing what we think and keep trying to put those move those steps forward uh, during it all I'm back home. Um, we're watching Ferris Bueller. Well, Sarah, when I came home, Sarah was watching it. Um, we'll recap. We'll talk more later. It's a blustery day in the Hundred Acre Woods. Um, we have decided because of the rain to stay in and because we missed Eve. So it's going to be a home night with Eve. And we're going to watch more Marvel movies and we're going to get fast food for dinner. And we're just going to be so comfy. Oh, wait. And watch Phil again? Yeah, but... Um we have to put in the footage of when we picked up Evie. Oh, look how excited she was right now. Hi, your, way, your tail's <laughs> wagging. Hi. Hi, baby, we missed you so much. Oh, you're such a good girl. I love you. I missed you. Did you have fun? Did you have fun with the other girlies? <laughs> in the corner. Oh gosh. Okay, oh, she's scratching my back. Ready to go home? Ready to go out outside and then home? Yeah? She's the best. She is. And Katie was already out for the day, so she was just there. And she was so sleepy. She was like, we walked in and we were like, where are you? And she like came around the corner, not expecting us. All right, I'm about to go get food um, mm -hmm. for us, but we have not watched, we have not started watching Ant-Man and Wasp yet. We might at some point, but we've been kind of just um, been reading up on more of what's going on in our country, been watching the news. Um, the coverage of the different events that are taking place in each city. There's three big events going on just in Florida alone. Just in, I mean, Tallahassee, Miami, and Orlando. Yeah. But I want to point out, um, from, from my personal experience, like I know there's a lot of like very violent and 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 very dangerous situations going on in the country right now when you're watching this yesterday then um and there if that's fact there are but there are a lot of peaceful protests and even today what i saw was so many people walking around with cold cases of water passing around water bottles to anybody in the crowds during the 95 degree sunny florida day so they could peacefully protest yeah there was somebody in a car in chicago that was literally like giving hand sanitizer to people because like the pandemic also isn't over yeah and so we like to be a source of happiness and joy for all of you but like we as we've said even fairly recently we are a daily vlog and we are going to tell you what we're doing day to day and this isn't something that's going to happen on. today and be done with and of course we are going to do other things obviously right now a lot is happening and so it's kind of we feel that it's necessary that it's taken over our day um but this isn't this isn't going to stop today unfortunately uh, and i did tell sarah when i came back i was like we've always you guys know we're we are proud americans mm -hmm. We have the American flag hanging. We're in. positive people. <laughs> yes. We're very much so. And we always say that. We usually say that on election days because we love the the right to vote. It's something so important to us. And it, today mm -hmm. was the first time I got to. Um, what's the right term of that? Use my right. Use a express. Not express my right. Demonstrate. Yeah, I got to demonstrate my right to to protest as an American citizen, and to witness that firsthand, and to see the lead, the natural leaders that came out and. 
it was so much more than just there were periods majority of the time where we were chanting things but it was also about educating the entire group of people there about voting rights and getting out and voting and registering to vote and talking about the importance of where you spend your money in the communities that are local to you right. and to think about the owners of the shops that you spend your money in. So it was very insightful and there was like there were dogs where I was at, there were families with little kids where I was at when we were marching the police and like we see a lot of things in these other major cities but Orlando I've noticed I think it has a lot to do with like things the city has experienced over the past decade has a very united culture and I think that was shown today where like the cops there were, I think there was a very mutual respect between the crowd and the cops here you hear that thunder? Storming bad. And I think that was important to know because they were protecting everybody. They were making it for the safest, but at the same time, the entire group was executing their right to protest yeah. about something so right. important. And something we pointed out on Facebook was that we know that all of you are kind and empathetic, and you have shown us that throughout the years that we truly know that anyone who watches us has a kind soul and we just you know ask that you even take this time to do the smallest little thing to show that kindness to people even if that even if that's just like saying hi to somebody or reflecting on your day-to-day -day actions yeah and your actions yeah it's like smallest but we can only hope that this can also just unite others in that yeah. same way that's some that was the it was very empowering to be there today to see people from uh, all these different generations to be together about something super important. Right, because who doesn't want the best for everybody? Exactly. And I truly believe that it is goodness, that there is goodness in everyone. It's just how do we manage that and hold each other accountable? Okay, I'm gonna go before we all start getting hangry. Okay. <laughs> when Burger King has an impossible option, but you are a bigger fan of McDonald's fries, these aren't plant based. We've talked about that before. It started what is now. It is a very sad day chaos in our country. In our country. Scenes like these you see when you right see four York. different states. In Seattle, they're all playing out. Crowds all everywhere country. and all of the We're protests of the unfortunately are starting to turn very dark. And just touching on what Peter just said, this is not a new fight. This has been a battle in our country since his existence and I think just the vast scope of it all and the places it's reached and the coverage we're seeing in every state is just extra, extra heavy. May 30th. My goal today is to live in a state of grace and lightness. I will not invite struggle or drama. I will say yes more and smile often. Kimberly Blaine. That is what I am hopeful for. Strange day. With like saying goodbye to family, coming home, and then realizing that we'd missed so much over the past couple days. Yeah. Um, but, you know. Do you want to end it on a happy note? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to show my belly bump? Oh. Can you see? Booyah. There's a baby in there. Some of you have been asking for a belly bump. Update, sorry we're running out of battery. Um, and I know that it'll show on the vlog, but this is the first day that I really like noticed it, noticed it, so. It's good to be home. It's good to be home.